So hello everyone and welcome back to some more Divinity Original Sin here with Kide and Sare. Hello. Hello. So we are continuing actually pretty soon after the last time around, but I'm also quite interested to go and actually investigate if we can find the lighthouse. Actually we can maybe even get to the strange cave through here without going to the beach. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but uh, we can if we go indeed uh, sort of southwest from here, this way. Then at some point we would be almost like into the strange cave, so not sure about that. Yeah, there where we were already. There's definitely bodies to the southwest if we exactly go into there. It's kind of interesting how far you can actually already see some of this area now that you got into the here close enough, so to speak. But of course... Yep. I think we should go and deal with these undeads that are in this one house over here, pretty close by. So I think that is the logical place to be going and heading into. Mm. A little bit also wondering, hmm, could I try to shoot someone nicely with Bidater from a little bit from a distance, <laughs> but uh, not very easily. When they yep. still know this pretty well. And Fumbling Undead Mage is there. They do have a lot of archers and a lot of exploskeletons. Which is a problem because I'm kind of very afraid of the fact that there's a couple of exploskeletons. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. And the Fumbling Mage. I do have to say that this group is a lot more dangerous. Sure, we could try to be getting the oil barrel and just set that area to fire. Which would not be the worst thing if we could be just setting that area to fire, but I don't really actually have like a far away distance fire hitting things really, so. That's bad. Yeah, like the fireball, I would have the fireball scroll, still one. That's, that's a different thing, of course. Which I could just be sending in there and hit even the oil barrel and a couple of archers. So that might still be worth it. If we want to do that. Because that would be a very efficient way to engage yeah. them. Then I do of course have to fire elemental scroll. But I don't think there's any point. Fire absorption scroll, no point. Flare scroll. But I don't think that's good enough for us to use. Unless I then just try to... Uh, it does a little bit of fire damage, yes, and it could set this area, as in the oil, into fire, but it wouldn't do anything to the archers or the oil barrel, exactly. So that's the question, do we just wanna just start an explosive start and use the fireball scroll? It's the only one that I have anymore from the fireball scrolls, but as such, this could be a good place to use one, when they are Maybe. also all... Archers from far away distance. Yeah, I totally hate archers. Yeah, and two explosive skeletons and a mage. Which is like the worst type of setups I could imagine. Because I don't want to really test out these explosive skeletons either. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be really bad if they get close. Yeah, so maybe I should try to just do the fireball scroll even though... I'm not sure. It's, it's the last use of it, but... Maybe I should. Sure. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Um, at least I think this is a good place to use one for sure. So. You're like a gorilla in a porcelain store. As I understood, <laughs> I guess these are like our pants talking. Or my underpants because I have them on. Sandalous okay. trunks. Like I... Viewed just the very start, uh, very access also like a let's play, the very very start, so I didn't see anything what he actually, like, uh, even then getting to the town, but he commented something that he's actually talked, so... Okay. It's weird to me, but uh, I had no idea about that earlier, <laughs> and I don't know about it otherwise, but uh, yeah, it's kind of strange. Why do those pants talk? I do not know, don't ask me. But uh, they don't have a lot of available crowd to be moving into here without getting into fire now, for sure, so that's good still. Yeah. Uh, what should I do? I have no idea. <laughs> Neither do I. That's why I'm asking. 
Uh, of course, from the wall you could at least get some. I, I don't think you can actually cast anything through the wall. But there, of course, you would be closer slash into safety if you went closer to the wall. But, uh, I don't know. It's difficult. Should I do? <laughs> I don't know. Freeze. No freezing touch. What Can't. I meant was Avatar of Frost on someone. I guess you might. Just not... Well, maybe you should do it for yourself, just as a thing. Just to do something. <laughs> well, it is a good one, of course. It's not something that I could think that is necessary for someone else right now, after all, anyway, so... Yeah. Don't like not doing anything. <laughs> well, there is the point, nonetheless, that if you don't do anything, you are kind of saving points for the future. This Expo Skeleton actually oh, yeah. is kind of going to probably be a problem because he actually has a way to come into here through these walls. So I do have to kind of, or I am kind of worried about that. But at least the other two are kind of far. Mm. Not sure if the ricochet shot really is good enough here, but maybe I should just use it to the archers at least. But I can't really see the Expo Skeleton right now anyways, which is the problem. Yeah, the close one. get rid of the archers. Yeah. Seven, have mercy on your soul. Well, it got the Expo Skeleton that was far. So it's not that bad. <laughs> and yeah. then the other two archers are in relatively bad condition. I think I'll move Biodotter back just a little bit because um, I think it's really bad that we're all too close to each other too. And what would Madora do? That's a good question too. Possibly just move a little bit more to the left of me maybe. Because it's just that I don't want us to be too close to each other here. I think that's a very dangerous factor. I'll try going pretty far. Yeah, at Hopefully least it's good. Yeah, burning failed on that thing, but it is really low. Ah, uh, I was worried what it would do. I can't do fire avatar on myself. That guy is actually moving from there, so maybe that is what Madara should try to go and deal with. Yep. Thanks for being <laughs> stupid, Expo Skeleton. That's great. I guess it's because this undead archer was such a kind guy and actually came right into the freaking spot where, like... He obviously <laughs> likes us. Yeah, he blocked the Expo Skeleton. It's very nice of him. Hmm, maybe I should do the Avatar of Fire. I would love to shoot or destroy the undead archer, but maybe you can do it on your turn. Because I kind of don't like the fact that I'm in the burning ground, so... Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, so I'll do the Avatar of Fire on myself. I can't really do anything else. I don't tend to move, so... That's something I can do. Maybe I'll move next to a tree. It's it's a little bit forward anyways. Slash so out of that burning ground, at least. And you might have a chance to go and kill that undead archer. It's very low health, so... Yeah. I do some skill. Maybe. I think you can kill it almost with anything. Of course, then the fumbling mage is still going to be a problem, but... Unless it's kind of far at the moment. And I guess Madara could try to go and uh, better ram her way into there. To the... the fumbling mage. Am I sure or am I hitting the wooden crate? I don't know. It shows pretty weirdly. Maybe you should move just a little bit so that you make sure that you hit that undead archer. Yeah. Good. Archer is also taken care of, so that is positive. And there's just a mage, which I cannot try to hit from this far away. Um, that's just on the way. You could move. But I can't exactly shoot that far. 
out of sight. And I don't think I can really easily change that with Pydotter right now. I can try to shoot the barrel, the poisonous barrel, which I'm not quite happy about as an idea to shoot it. But I could shoot it. But I think I should just leave it there. Maybe I should just save points with Pydotter, maybe we can get maybe. that one to get, well, be closer. So, hopefully. Or you go there with Madara. So, that's two options, basically. Madara can pretty easily get into there. Just need to be careful not to hit the ooze barrel badly, I think. Yeah. So, it would need to be to the left side of that uh, undead mage, then, if you do go and uh, choose to do better rain ram. Yeah. I'm just so far away that I can't really do it. Battering ram, I mean. Okay. Well, I think you can at least move with it, but uh, like maybe you mean just that uh, it wouldn't actually hit that one. Yeah, because it's blocked behind that, and uh, if I move any more, my AP doesn't. Yeah. So as I said, like you could do it next to it, but it's not going to do the special thingy with it, so to speak. Maybe, I don't know, it's... I'm worried what it's gonna do, especially when I'm also in a relatively low health, so I would really love that you wouldn't be too close with Madara. <laughs> Just for the fact that I'm worried what it will do, <laughs> then, fix okay. to us. Okay. But let's... let's do this. Okay. So that he will... Charmed. Oh no. That's no good. Charmed... Character is Charmed has switched sides. Home. Well, at least only had I one like turn. I just had a long bath in a cold lake. A <laughs> long bath in a cold <laughs> lake. I think I will have to heal myself, just simply. Even though I would love to do other things, but at least there's one good thing. Mother is far from us, in her yeah. shock condition, and it will take a while for her to still get all the way into here. So, yeah. it's not the worst, for sure. Maybe you can even, I don't know, I don't know how far you close you needed to be to the Fumbling Mage to be actually able to teleport them. Um, I could try to do a boulder bash to the Fumbling Undead Mage, but I don't. I think I just need to heal myself right now. Probably. Was too low health, nonetheless. He's just out of range. Yeah. And out of sight. Well. I guess you can maybe be able to move just enough to be able to do it, but I'm not sure, specifically with the burning crown. Either I am... Um... Well, I'll move next to you, if that's okay. Yeah. And see... If you can get the pumpling mage into here, then yeah, it would be still nice. Of course, for uh, the Where next... do you want him? Well, the burning crown next to you might be okay place, at least we can all get there relatively easily or hit with our other skills, at least. It's saying valid target. Okay, I'm not sure why. No. Well, have a look where you can or can you send him Target anywhere? is blocked. Okay, yeah. well, apparently then it's still blocked, unfortunately. Yeah. Damn, I can't do... I don't dare to do... To thunder jump. <laughs> yeah, no. Or, um, maybe I'll just regenerate you? Sure. It's fine. At least uh, then I will be gaining health a little bit more too. Shall but I end it or move back? Probably try to move a little bit back. I'm the tank now when Mother ain't here. Why do yeah. I see like it was weird when I was able to still see my previous turn action icon. I still saw myself in the low health, which was kind of interesting. <laughs> hmm. You would have to also move just a little bit to be able to hit all the way to there. Just the question, like, I'm thinking, mm, there's the fiery crown right here, which is the only problem. So, so freaking close to being able to actually hit all the way there. Yeah. 
really annoying. Yeah. Because it's so close but so far away. Now I can try to shoot, but it is 55% chance, so not exactly an excellent chance to be able to hit, so... Unfortunate, but true. Of course I could try to do something just like a knockout arrow or something, maybe. But actually probably can't, because the uh, special arrows always reach slower, lower distance. So I'll just try to shoot, but yeah, miss. Miss, it was, it was unfortunately. Yeah, but not surprising. Ow. He shot you. He didn't like me healing. No. Of course, there is always a chance that I should go with the battering ram. There. Sure. Of course, again, uh, Madara is on the mo way at the moment for me, so I can't exactly do it. Yeah. Well, I can, of course, still knock out Madara, maybe, because uh, it's the text that runs forward in a straight line to a point far away, hitting all enemies in your path with some slashing damage. It wouldn't be too bad as sus if there's some slashing damage, I guess. But on the other hand, Madara is only shard for one more turn. It's just the problem that she's closer than I would prefer <laughs> her to yeah. be. Well, I guess my options then would be either to do a boulder bash at that skeletal or do the burn my eyes to um, my daughter so she would hit better. But maybe I'll try to do the boulder bash. So at least decent choice on the mage. Yeah, I'm just worried that Madara... Well, Madara will have to move quite a bit, so I'm not sure if she will be able to come and try to hit me next turn, but... Yeah, I don't think she has a chance to hit you from that distance. We'll see. At least I hope. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. Oh, it'll... At least a little bit of damage. All right, what do I do? I feel <laughs> yeah. like I don't need. I'm not going to do anything again. Yeah, it's kind of difficult for you to do much. I don't know. Maybe you should just try to move a little bit behind the tree so that we don't all end up being in the same spot as that mage. If she's uh, still too far, I'm not sure, but I assume he was still too far for you to try to teleport. So, yeah. All right, I'm not doing anything. Oh, uh -huh. it's shame. And now I'm again annoyed because Madara has to be on my way to try to shoot the freaking thing. <laughs> Madara, why do you ruin things yeah. like this? If I go, Madara is the always <laughs> the one. Yeah. And then here, it he would be out of my sight, so or too far. Hey, now I can barely hit. Uh, past Madora, or try to hit past Madora. Hey, I did actually hit. Bidenor did do a pretty nice amount of damage, just that guy again can do his things. Not too much of a damage well, though. Yeah, he's very slow from the bad. oil. Yeah, and he's very slow now. Madora right. isn't actually sharp anymore, so... <laughs> 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 that was kind of silly. Madora isn't sharp anymore. Slash. Bless yeah. the seven, I am restored. Bless uh, the seven. I think you have to put her on me again. Oh yeah, because of that. That's kind of silly that it happens like that, but yeah. She oh, is okay, so to okay. speak there, but okay, maybe she just wasn't oh. linked. That was weird. Okay, well, I guess it's looting time. You can have a bone. Bone pick with me and you. Antique wooden that there's a slow down arrow for you. Uh, some gold. No! <laughs> you took my gold. Well, at least I got myself a bottle of beer. <laughs> ah, no. I thought I was gonna get it with telepathic, but no, I have to walk on <laughs> fire. Of course. I'm just gathering a lot of staffs here, apparently. I'm also, like, a little bit worried still about this burning crowns here. Trying to be careful yeah. with them. Oops. Ah. Hidden cat hatch key. Ah. Hmm. Hidden hatch key? Interesting. Yeah. Interesting for sure. I give you another bone. 
You're welcome. Claw? There's somewhere a hidden hatch. I suddenly found a claw. Spider, please be careful. Joshua spies? Wait, what? I see some... Is it yeah. golden writing? Yeah. It's a unique item then. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wooden locks, poison cloud arrow, is spider Someone ice elemental scroll. Hmm. But as such, it would be always better for me to use, like, Ooh, hey, a... yeah, this this is the hatch. Yeah, I was just moving <laughs> into that. But uh, take that. Uh, do I take the wooden logs? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Well, fine. You <laughs> just went in. For a god and crest. Let me save before we kill ourselves here. Uh, hello, rat. How hard? I am on the trail, source hunter. I'll take my leave. Where did the rat go? Uh, it, there, on the <laughs> sarcophagus or whatever this is. It's so difficult to actually hit this thing when it's so small and Please constantly moves. Don't move. touch that grave unless you're prepared to face the strongest ghost alive. Well, alive. <laughs> okay. Great. Well, at least we know that before we do something like that which Freaking is blow skill poop that sounds arms mastery -ish. there's a chest here too <laughs> crippling blow hmm. gotta have a look what this exactly then is cloth cap and trap disarm tool key. alrighty you Chest. found those things Nice. There's, by the way, a small chest also. I guess I can actually even look into that myself. There's some ingredients yeah. here that you can come and pick up from those baskets. There's like a little box here. Ooh, there's actually an amulet in this box. Ooh. That's sweet. Broken bottles. That's not necessarily that important. Desk hat 126 gold and a paper knife. Very useful. Great. Then I can just be... Your knife is the most useful item Moving the here. screen here, yes, that's useful. Static cloud arrow. Hmm. Well, do send that to buy the turn. I uh, already did. Uh, a okay. mug of wine. Was that for me? The wine? Or did you pick up all the wine? No, you, you, you were the wine drinker. Okay. You are the wine drinker. Forever. Well, I'm not definitely <laughs> a beer drinker. <laughs> yeah. So, wine is yours. Let's see. Identify. You had the one amulet, right? We bought it. Ooh. Yep. This is a sweet amulet. Leader's corroded copper amulet of the sage. Plus one intelligence and plus two initiative. I'll take that to use. This dirty amulet appears to be of an ancient design. It may be as old as Revelon's earliest pagans, who worshipped the stars and rivers in place of the seven gods. So that's nice. Yep. Then, by the way, the Yoshio Spice says, Ingredient not for consumption. Too fiery. 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 Anyways, there you go. I send it to you. <laughs> Maybe, should I give this... Um, Minor strength potions which give plus one strength to Bidotter. Not Bidotter, I mean. Uh, Madora. Madora? Yeah. By Maybe. the way, she isn't quite complete health, so should also heal her. Okay, do keep. Like, nine hit points below full health, so. <laughs> it is still not full health. Sweet relief. <laughs> ah, it's a little bit overreacting from my point of view, but fine. <laughs> There's also a claw for you. Um, large air resistance potion. Mm. Who is Joshua? I'm not sure. I feel like that's, that's a quest and we should have gotten it. And we haven't. 
Maybe. At least it feels that way well, when we get hey. the spice. Well, hey, we can always find out about it later on. It's not something that, oh no, we can never find out who would want the spice. <laughs> so, I'm sure it will be fine. <sighs> okay. I guess that's otherwise... No, didn't I pick up a skill book? Hmm... Uh, yeah, there was one skill book. Yeah, I'm trying to have a look where in my inventory would I find a skill book. There it is. So it is indeed a man at arm skill. So it's crippling blow. You don't. Yeah, it even requires level six. So we definitely can't learn it yet. Any of us. So it would be a cripple or target deals 61 to 82 crushing weapon damage. 100% chance to set crippled status for three turns. Saving through body building requires melee weapon. Crippled status has a negative impact on target's movement and action point recovery. Man at arm skills are skills for warriors. High strength improves his skills. Read the spook to learn this skill. So yeah, it's a nice one to nonetheless have. So that's fine. Yeah. Well, do we want to try to go and open that crypt? I think we should at least try. Yeah, I think so too. Here. Um, I'll just try to unlink by daughter because I don't want her to be as close as I am in the combat, so... <laughs> and I think Madara specifically could be probably the one to open it. Well, I guess I can open it, but Madara should be at least close by then. Yeah, I think she's pretty close. Yeah, fine. Okay, I actually have to teleport that out of there. Pushing, pulling, lifting, look at him muscles, huh? Just like my days at the fair. Okay. So, did you manage to read that all already? Yep. I can actually trade with him. He has a golden spoon, light golden teaspoon. And Great. boots. And grand Elvis fire staff of do 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 doctor. Uh, okay. Uh, care to tell me a bit about yourself? I used to sail the seven seas with the best of them. Better than the best of them. But found my true calling at the county fair. The strongest man in Sightfield I was. And they built me as such. W what do you mean your days at the fair? Now those were swell times. How people marveled at my feats of strength. Boy, was I the cat's pajamas back then. Anyone could go up against me in a grand old bare knuckle jamboree, but did they ever back me? Baloney. Okay. So you like to fight, do you? Now, now, I'm not a violent guy. Don't get me wrong. Make no mistake. Okay. But you know there's no harm in a little roughhousing now and again, putting on a show for the roaring crowd. Plenty challenged me in those days, but none managed to best snort. No, sir. <laughs> Nobody, eh? I bet I could best you myself. Scrawny against Brian. Could have been a nice title fight at the fair. Here are the rules, hot chap. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna summon an item. Something only Snorri himself could smash. And if you can manage to break it in 30 oh, no. seconds, you'll have won the challenge. Go get any pie in the sky, folks, oh, folks, oh, pally pal. This will be nothing to sneeze at. Um, I don't like this. That's bad. Yeah. Uh, I guess Madara can probably try to help me in this then, if, if we try to do this. I haven't even broken anything ever yet, so I don't even know how this exactly will be working. She is, noodle arms. So, what are you made of? <laughs> 35 seconds is just so freaking small amount of time. Yeah. Oh. I think I'll give this place the old 23 skidoo and find a worthy opponent in the Hall of Echoes. Sayonara! But, but, but you had items for sale too. Well, I guess we actually Damn. won. <laughs> well. Or chest. Yeah. Ooh. This might be even a good sw new sword for Madara. 
There's a couple of unidentified items and one of them was a sword. So, and a two-handed one at that. And then this one. So, the stout outdated executioner's sword of bloodlust. 60 to 77 slashing. 10% chance to set knockdown status for one turn, just as an automatic bonus. That's pretty nice. Yeah. A sword made in the signature style of Vernivian warriors, nicknamed Soltius Paramore by those left behind by war. It's a rare item too, so yeah, I'll send it to Madora. Hmm. Hey. It's definitely better. I guess I'll give these braces to myself. They seem to be a little bit better for me, and then you can choose if you want to be giving this to maybe then Madora. There's it like a plus one to blacksmithing, basically, as this. I'll send it to Madora too, but I don't know what she is actually wearing at the moment. Well, she has more armor rating ones, but nothing special in them otherwise. Yeah. Uh, also, my daughter can use them if you don't need them, but... Because she only has one with seven armor rating, so... Yeah. I don't think we need blacksmithing yet, but we could probably put mm. this back on when we do. That's on Madara, course. I mean. Yeah, of course, that's also a possibility. Maybe you could send them for now then for Bi Daughter because she also has yeah. all of the seven armor rating things, so I'll send this for you then for sale purposes. That is really kind of a bad one after all that what she was having previously on. Hmm. It's so difficult. Uh, to sometimes decide exactly, like, uh, for example, the clothing, what I should be wearing with my actual rat knit. Actually, I, yeah. I'm a little bit wounded from that, somehow. But, uh, because, okay, maybe I use a sword and not a staff, that can be an easier choice, but should I use a rope or an armor? Yeah. And that is the question that I haven't really been able to figure out yet. Uh, which one is better? Yeah, that doesn't work for that. As soon as the armor rating on this um, robe of the runner is almost as good as the antique male armor. And there's no penalty, even small, for the movement. So maybe I should be trying that out for a change. Maybe. I don't know. It's just a difficult thing. It's like two armor rating difference. So it's not a big difference in armor rating. It just looks so weird now that I'm used to having a <laughs> armor to see at myself. Mm, I'm having a freaking cloak on now. Yeah. <laughs> Does it seem right to you? No. <laughs> I'll try this for a bit anyways. <sighs> Gold Lake again, yes. The wet gutters. Yep. Permanent. Oh, that was a great place. Yeah, it was a nice battle though. Just, I should basically use way more of the fire arrows with my daughter, preferably, rather than the fire scroll spell because it's more expensive. But, uh, oh well, it's done now. In the future then. There was also yeah. some bodies this way. That's why I'm running from here. Well, we could have run from the other side too. But anyways, there is corpses here, so... Can have a look if they got anything of interest. But no, none of them have got nothing at all. To be continued with Divinity Original Sin.